Before we begin exploring projectile motion, we constructed a testing area and launching device, attempting to reduce as many variables as possible, and then conducted tests to ensure our device would meet our needs. We then discussed what demonstrations we wanted to conduct and what principles of projectile motion we would cover, including horizontal motion, vertical motion, the parabola of projectiles travel and complementary angles, ending with how projectiles' behavior can affect flight. We started with simply firing a projectile to show how the horizontal motion remains unchanged until it interacts with the floor. But the vertical motion is affected by gravity, changing from moving up to moving down towards the floor, creating a parabolic arc during its flight as you can see in this slow motion replay. Then we tested the complementary angles, firing the projectile first at 60 degrees and then again at 30 degrees. These two angles add up to 90 degrees and therefore the projectile should have landed in the same spot. As shown here, with some error due to variables with our launching system. After demonstrating the principles of projectile motion covered in class, we wanted to show how changes in the projectile could also affect its flight. Here we are firing a cylinder-shaped projectile that travels further, but still begins to decrease in height, showing that it is still affected by gravity. From this angle, you can see the projectile begin to fall before it hits the target. We also fired disc shaped projectiles that fly like frisbees, using this shape to create lift, further increasing the distance it can fly. In all of these examples, we are experiencing many variables, including changing speeds from the launcher, non-uniform projectile motion, and air resistance. These are all real world variables that must be taken into account if you want to hit a target with a projectile. One of these variables, projectile motion, can be controlled for benefit to some extent. Notice the football is spinning. This motion stabilizes the ball flight through the air, orienting it in the most aerodynamic position, thus reducing drag from air resistance, allowing it to fly farther and more accurately. But why do we need to understand projectile motion as show production students? Projectiles can be an exciting and integral part of a staged show. Whether this involves dropping something from the rafters, an actor throwing something across the stage, or firing smoke, streamers, even confetti into the crowd, both the talent and the technicians need to be properly trained and act safely to ensure the safety of themselves and the crowd there to enjoy their show. To do this, you need to understand the horizontal and vertical motion of projectiles, the parabolic arcs they travel in, and how to use angles to predict where they will land. Better understanding projectile motion and how we can affect it can give us the tools to more safely create an incredible spectacle and experience for our audience and ensure that we don't end up like this guy. Remember, understanding projectile motion is better for everybody and better for the show.